Necessity is the mother of invention, and we had to find a way to survive. And so for the plants, the natural gift of the Creator, we could rely on it to guide us into what we needed to do. I didn't know about Fenzik and your pharmaceutical things. I know about bush, bush. So if I had a headache, I knew as a child that I should use the leaves of three mackerel bush and a piece of cloth and tighten my head and the pain would go. The use of herbs as medicine. While this age-old practice has been overlooked by many, the Institute of Jamaica saw it fitting to mount an exhibition on medicinal plants of Jamaica and their uses, bringing to the present the medicinal habits used in the past. So at least 330 plants have been found growing in Jamaica, have been identified as having medicinal value. Of that 334, at least 193 have been assessed for their biochemical activities and 23 of those have, are actually endemic plants. Not every plant, though in its natural form is good, is accessible to everybody. And knowing the information about the plant and wanting to get that into the hands of the people, some of our scientists have begun to study extensively some of these plants to see how they can be formulated in such a way so that they can be packaged and be accessible to the public. You just don't wake up and say, Eureka, I have found it. They would have learned from the people in the community what plants were used for what purpose. So you, you, you know all those things in your, in your childhood because they were continually using the plants of nature to assist in what they were doing. Ever since I was a child, my mommy always said I'm going a piece of bush to make tea if the tea bag run out. But what was I getting out of it? I had no clue. And sometimes people say it worked, some other people say it didn't work. So that's why I really did the research to find out if these plants actually work. So we started only making butter brush, which is also known as Calistemon viminalis. And then we broadened and we focused on lemongrass. We focused on most of the herbs that are used by native Jamaicans to cure different ailments. In addition to the showcase, students from the Dunrobin, Chetola Park and the Rollington Town Primary Schools were scientists for a day as they participated in one of the institution's monthly and afternoon with a scientist sessions. Modeled around the Ministry of Education's academic calendar, the mandate of the program is to expose students to and encourage an appreciation for different disciplines of science through fun-filled scientific activities. I've been promoting entrepreneurship, especially in the medicinal plant industry. So I, um, one of the things I do is to give back. So I volunteer even at my children's school. We have an entrepreneurial club where I teach them to make different products from plants. I learned that, that they can use herbs to make soap. It was very exciting because I got to see um, what dangerous chemicals they use in it and how is it, how is it correct to go on the skin. First, we had to put some coconut oil in like a metal cup. Then we had to put shea butter in it and melt it. And then we put it in sodium hydroxide. And it was very, very, very hot. I spilled it a couple times, but it was okay, just a little clean up. And it began to get thick, so I was like, what should I do now? And she was like, just mix it, it's normal. And then we got to put what we want in there. I put um, charcoal in there, and then I made a swirl in the mold. It was a very good experience. I'm so happy our students were able to participate in the activity held here at the Institute, where they learn more about medicinal plants. I believe it's very important for them to know that the plants that are found right there in their backyards can be used for healing of ailments that they'll have, the common cold, whatever the, the, the ailments may be. This is what I would like to engage the people in. Go back to their communities and learn how people lived, a generation which came out of slavery. 
could neither read nor write, and yet they were able to contain themselves and to live. We want the students to have some respect for the heritage of this country because it is going to guide you to the future.